Boy! Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. As you can see, Chad is laughing because they're trying to make fun of me. They try to lower my self-confidence. But today is going to be a crafting video. Now, I can't really give you guys a guide on like the best methods and stuff, but I want to go ahead and help you out and show you what I'm going to be doing so I can waste the currency so you guys don't have to. So in this video, we're going to be using this website that I'll link down below. I'll also link it in the Twitch stream so it'll pop up right here and you can see it right there. So, But anyway, this is a website that we're going to be using so that we can see pretty much every single roll that drops or like rolls in general on anyway basically we can see every roll that uh, all of the new currency rolls so um with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and open up my stash and we're gonna take a look at all of this stuff that i've got so i have everything sorted here uh between all of my fossils you can see I ha I've actually been fucking around with a, with a couple of them. I've got seven life fossils left. Uh, what else are we going to be using? And all of these, hopefully not all of them, hopefully it's going to finish before we use all of them, but these chaos fossils. And then eventually I found a hollow fossil, which adds an abyssal socket. This will be used on my helmet because just to show you how this website works really fast, I'll pull it up. Um, if you search, for example, this is a hollow fossil. This adds a abyssal socket. I guess you don't really need to search it. This is an aberrant fossil. So if you were to search aberrant and you go down here, you can see that aberrant fossil on helmets can grant you nearby enemies have minus nine chaos resistance, which is really, 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 really big. If you really big. Um, and then with the pristine fossil, it allows us to also add, you can see here uh, on helmets, we can roll an additional maximum life roll with percentage life roll, which is really nice. So, um, but anyway, we don't really have much gear like to be crafting today. So instead we're gonna throw our RNG on jewels, uh, which is always fun. So right before I did this, I actually crafted this jewel. It rolled 15%. Uh, or sorry, I rolled 13% chaos damage, 5% max life, life regen. I went ahead and divined it. We got 1% up on the life and then we, and a little bit on the chaos. And we actually exalted strength and dex, which is good. Strength is great because it's a little bit of HP and for me it's stat requirements. Now I noticed that with my build, since I'm using bubonic trail, I did find that abyssal socket jewel. I'm currently using a stygian vice with a socket. I'm using abyssal jewels, you know, for their benefit. But the problem is, is my abyssal jewels are really shit. So I wanted to see if I could craft some Abyssal Jewels, ideally with Chaos Damage and Life. Now, normally you cannot craft percentage damage on uh, Abyssal Jewels, but with the Aberrant Fossils, you can add a Chaos Damage roll onto Abyssal Jewels. However, this also means that you can technically roll a double Chaos roll on regular Jewels, because regular Jewels can already roll um, it can already roll chaos damage. And to show you, there's another website I use called PoE Affix. So if we go over here and we go to, say for example, accessories, and we go to Cobalt Jewel, we can go down or we can just type in chaos. You can see you can in fact roll nine to 13 chaos damage. Um, whereas if you were to go to Abyssal Jewels, for example, let's pick uh, Murderous Eye Jewel, you cannot roll chaos damage. You can roll chaos resist, chaos damage, you know, to attacks and all this other nonsense stuff. So anyway, today we are gonna go ahead and try to roll a new jewel. So what do we have here? Our illustrious champion returns. This is just 43 Welcome max life, home. which is okay, but we're gonna try to get something better than this hypnotic eye jewel. So I'm gonna be using a murderous eye jewel. Now to my knowledge, it doesn't really matter what jewel I'm crafting on. And the reason why I say that is because I'm looking for life, which is a global stat. Doesn't matter which jewel you're using. And I'm looking for percentage chaos damage, which again is a new stat that is added from the fossil itself. So it really shouldn't matter what I'm crafting on. So let's go ahead and start and we're gonna do five tests with just simple chaos. Now, the reason why I say that is if we look at life roll, so life is called pristine. If we search here, pristine, down at the bottom we can see the only thing that the pristine fossil adds is percent life regen. And that's good, don't get me wrong, that's not bad at all, um, but it's not actually adding flat life, and the Abyssal Jewels can already roll flat life. So we're gonna do a test with just regular Chaos ones, and then we're gonna try it with um, with like the Pristines as well. So let's go ahead and grab four Resonators. Pop them in. Here we go. 
Okay. We got max energy shield, movement speed, and fire damage to attacks. Seems like a lot of chaos damage. Let's try again. We got chaos damage to attacks, uh, fire damage to attacks, and 4% physical damage reduction against abyssal monsters. We're gonna try again. We rolled max life, fire damage, and fire damage. Let's try one more time. We have rolled still nothing. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and try it on... I don't know, I kind of want to just move away from the Abyssal Jewels because they honestly have been fucking me up so bad. Let's see. The problem with this is that Chaos can roll as flat damage on Abyssal Jewels, so I believe it's much more difficult to roll it on these opposed to other ones. So I'm going to go ahead and try a double craft here. So this now is... Reforge is a rare item with new modifiers. More chaos, more life, no lightning, no armor, energy shield, or evasion modifiers. So, in fact, it's not bad, actually. It could be worse. We did roll increased damage if you've killed recently. That's not exactly a chaos roll, but it, it did... I mean, that works, so I am happy. It's not the mod I was looking for, but it by RNG, it actually worked, so... Uh, but again, that's not actually how it's supposed to work because that's not a chaos roll, but we're just going to pretend that that is a chaos roll. So, um, this is strength and intelligence. I would love to replace this, but I can't. I need to get more. Uh, so, I mean, technically, this is probably just going to go in here. I'm maybe going to lose, like, 50 life, and we're just going to use that instead, except now I need another hypnotic, and fuck. So, I guess the sad part is I really can't even use it. I guess I can put it here. Okay. All right, um, let's go ahead and craft some other fun jewels instead. So, let's go ahead and take a look at item level I don't really think matters. Item level 69 seems like the lucky one to be on. Um, now, I'm just going to go ahead and slam this one with, let's do four straight chaos rolls onto this. Now, actually, in fact, it may be better to do it on a cobalt jewel because if I do it on, sorry, a crimson. If I do it on a crimson jewel, I believe it has a more frequent chance to get life rolls. Uh, I could be wrong there, but we're gonna go ahead and try that out. But it's probably less likely to roll that second chaos roll. Okay, so here we go. We rolled 28% chaos, which means we actually rolled the double chaos on the first roll. Uh, chaos damage, no, don't want that, so let's try again. Chaos damage intelligence, fire damage, chaos damage, that's pretty good. I'm going to try that again, since it's really easy for me to get these chaos ones compared to the life ones. One, two, three, and then we'll do a double, of course, so let me do a double. Right, where's pristine? Here it is. Okay. One, two, one, two, three. Okay, here we go. So, Badoop. That's poo poo. Badoop. That's poo poo. Again? You know, for some reason, I feel like I should do this one. We rolled not good, unfortunately. Again, not good. Okay, so, fuck the crimson. The crimson is, is trolling me. Let's try one, two, three, four, five on the cobalt. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, cobalt. Crit multi, mana regen, area damage. Increased damage, chaos damage. That's technically pretty good. Intelligence, all attributes, cold damage. Okay, if I make a Whispering Ice build, I will use this jewel. I don't know how it rolled like that, considering I'm rolling Chaos, but you know what? Whispering Ice it is. Okay, um, let's go ahead and check out whatever else we have. Let's go this one. Okay, let's go. Fire resist, Chaos damage, and... Chaos damage. Okay, so... I don't know why, but they're being very scuffy today, so... Let's try this again. We're going to do two more pristines with two more aberrant fossils with two resonators. Okay. We rolled K 
Chaos damage, chaos res, life regen per second. I kind of want to try to exalt that for life. That looks like a really good jewel. But, but the chances of exalting life is like 0.0%. So I'm, I'm, this is going to be a project item. But that is good. So <laughs> just do it. Sorry, guys. I don't want to waste my exalts on solo cell phone. So let's try again on Mr. Shit Bloodburst. Here we go. I don't know what it is with these Crimson Jewels. They're supposed to be more likely to roll life. They fucking don't ever roll life. So Crimson Jewels are banned from existence. I'm going to go back to the Cobalts. Okay, let's let's do another Cobalt. As you can see, this one already has Chaos Damage. So we're going to be his friend, and we're going to give him... We're gonna just, just six more Chaos Rolls, and then, and then we're good. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Maelstrom Wisdom Cobalt Jewel. You ready? It's now going to be a platonic cobalt jewel of no judging. We rolled chaos damage, trap throwing speed, damage with poison. Whoa! Okay, that's a good one. Chaos damage, Elirez, strength, intelligence. Again, we have this problem. The problem is it has no fucking life on it. So into here it goes. Let's go pull out another one. Um, this one needs to be scoured and because it needs to be scoured looks like we're gonna have to use another jewel So I may as well just use a pristine and a chaos with this one to make sure it rolls, you know properly uh, Where's uh, chaos? Uh, Mr. Mr. Chaos here, and then we're gonna use This resonator wait. No, we need to use this one Okay, here we go Chaos damage life regen physical damage with wands Elemental resistance, energy shield gain on hit, attack speed with wands. That's a pretty okay CI, like kinetic blast. Like, not really. No, no Ellie, just kidding. I got excited because I saw 12% max life and I saw chaos damage, only to find out it's fucking totem life. Oh my. Okay, if. You, Bladefall Miners? Is that still a thing? Because if you magic find, this is a jewel for you. That is a very, 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 very mad <laughs> jewel, but unfortunately, again, there's it's not for me. That's a really, really good one. Yeah, so tw it rolled 29 because that's a double. That's a double. Okay. Uh, what else do we have here? You? What do you have? 14 intelligence? I'm sorry, you need to be smarter than that, so... What we're gonna do now is I'm gonna take one more, just one more pristine, and one more chaos fossil, and we're gonna, you know, um, take one more of these, like this, and one more of these, and then just one more, okay. Here we go. Okay. One more time. Okay. CI anybody? Because that seems pretty good for CI. But... <laughs> but I'm not CI. <laughs> Where are my life rolls, dude? Okay, okay. Okay. So, Death South. Oh, fuck me, Death South. Yeah, we're gonna play Death South build next. I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, uh, so because I have this fossil all by himself, I do need to do one more because it's not fair to justify it. This little guy all by himself. And we're gonna pull out the Big Dick Crimson Jewel. So, Big Dick Crimson Jewel, we're gonna scour him and we're gonna just give him a pristine. This is my last pristine. Fuck, dude, it took me so long to farm all of this stuff. It's all gonna be... Okay. Um, I guess I have one more here. All right, so pristine in, chaos in, three, two, one. All right, this one's for you, chat. This is the last one. This is the sole survivor. Okay. Unfortunately, I did make some pretty nice jewels. Um, we got a whispering ice jewel here. We used the cold jewel to get it. 
Uh, we've got the Chaos Damage, Elemental Resistance, Strength Intelligence. 15% Mind Damage, 29% Chaos, and 6% Rarity. And then 28% Chaos with 7% Energy Shield Recharge. Um, jewels are actually really difficult to roll compared to like the other stuff I've done. Uh, I have like these gloves that I roll that are 44 Chaos with Life. And this belt that I have which is 96 Life with Resistance. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I came up with. I would craft my helmet for you guys, but I don't have the base ready yet to craft. Um, and well, I don't really have anything left to craft with except for like that one set of other stuff. So anyway, that's pretty much about it. I hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hopefully you guys have had a little bit better uh, luck than me when it comes to crafting some stuff. Um, I'm also waiting on a mana, pre mana jewel, mana fossil for my quiver. Uh, that should be pretty nice as well. But yeah. That's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves, and I will see you boys all tomorrow. But don't forget, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Take care. Have a wonderful time, everybody.